Hi guys, welcome to Review Pisces. All right, we are in the park. I've been loving this weather, so I'm like, yes, the park, the water. I'm out here. Well, yeah, you can partially see the water. Hold on. See, it looks so pretty. You know, and being a fellow Pisces, I was like, I gotta get out. I gotta get out here. All right, let me get into it. I just seen the anxiety card and attachments in rest and rejuvenation popping out some of you guys have some anxiety about your future or even the present moment you have some anxiety going on you just need to rest hearing meditate get some sleep for some of you guys there's some downloads that are coming in for you sorry i'm talking a little mumble jumbo and fast but sometimes it comes out fast like that but i just had some coffee <laughs> but yeah let's get into it and yes my baby's right here playing with her toys and stuff so she's good we're chilling. Ooh, caring connections, angel of balance. So you guys need some balance in your life. I'm hearing balance in your love connection. For some of you guys, balance in your friendship. Maybe you guys are the over givers. You're doing too much. I've been there. I've been there. I understand. Some of you guys are also walking away from some type of connections that are no. I'm hearing no longer serving you. Have some imbalance in them or cause an imbalance within you. Yeah, because you need to take actions for a better connection. Okay, that's for some of y'all there. Or if you are single, focusing on better ones. Hi, Chinky. <laughs> you just wake up. Ooh, I'd love to see my baby. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can for today. I'm pulling at least six cards out of this deck, and then I have another deck to use after. Underneath storm warning. So there is some type of message I'm hearing that is going to come to you. I'm also hearing there is like, you're going to, I'm hearing something that you're sensing is really going to shake shit up. It's going to shake it up. Okay, excuse my language, but sometimes I curse a little bit on here. It's all right, because I'm just myself. Um, But I feel like it's like a tower moment. Like things are about to shift, but in the best way possible. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> She's in her yelling face. <laughs> but we have the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, Angel, yeah, popping out. So I'm hearing um, introspection, learning yourself, getting yourself in order, getting your mind in order. Because look, it just, didn't I just tell y'all the anxiety just popped out? Some of y'all are really anxious about something. But I feel like you don't have to really worry too much for too much longer because you're going to have victory here. Victory is when you're going to put this anxiety away. You're going to have some type of peace of mind moving forward. I'm hearing you're also going to know which decisions to make in your life to get you to the place of feeling victorious. Feeling like you're doing the things that you need to do. Right? Let me move these cards up because I have a few of them. Just lay them on the table and make it easier for myself. Let me see. Okay, so, oh, oh, yes, this is beautiful. Okay, I love all of this. All right, so the community here, you guys have a lot of supporters, a lot of support that's going to be behind you. Um, if not now, but in the near future, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to have your back in the situation. I'm also hearing um, some of you guys, I was picking up on that energy earlier when it comes to that relationship. Maybe it's, um, I don't even know what that word means. Tremultuous, tremultuous, however you say that word. Oh, let's keep it down. But some of you guys have been going through it, maybe some drama. That could even be a friend relationship or a friend, a family relationship that's just been toxic. But I feel like you're going to get through that. I feel like there's a lot of positive people that are going to be in your life at this time or in the near future again. Um, and that are going to support you through whatever that breakup for some of you guys and also others of you guys are going to support you when you do have this new love in your life or you might have a new love in your life and it might go really good in your past relationship is pretty shitty right because we've all had shitty ones but you know it gets worse before it gets better okay that's what somebody needed to hear it's, it's gonna get better for you baby you're gonna have that big story with this patience card here take your time with things know that god's timing is perfect timing so just be patient with the changes that are coming into your life yes there's many things that you want to do there's many things that you want to change oh someone's trying to call me let me skirt let me get this out of here real quick okay but yes there are many things that you want to change in your life but you just need to have patience in order for those things to change now what we have here is two wonderful two of my favorite cards in this deck honestly Aside from the victory, this is something that you're going to be victorious in. It's the door to personal healing and happiness and the door to the value. Look at that. Like, literally, that's going to be your victory right there, baby. I feel like some of you guys as well with that patience card, that's for the anxiety. Because, you know, we get anxious when we're not being patient, right? When we're like, oh my gosh, I need this now. This has to happen now. Or 
can this happen? Can I do this? Can I do that? Whatever. That's when you get more anxious, right? So be patient with certain things that are happening for you. And I feel like that anxiety is going to slowly kind of shift away. Shift your mindset as well as what I just heard. But yes, with that victory, the door to value, the door to personal healing and happiness, that is yours. That is part of that victory that you're about to have. And people are going to celebrate that with you um, moving forward. I feel like you're going to have the right people around you to kind of celebrate it. I've been hearing to pull the ones from the top today. Oh, that is beautiful. The freaking magician in the mirror. Baby, you are that magician in the mirror. You are. You are the one I'm hearing alchemizing, using the different things around you. Some of you guys, with the look at this, with the patience and the storm warning, I'm also hearing transmuting energy, transmuting negative energy around you to get positivity. And as I say that, the cornucopia card. Damn, shut up. All these great cards. Five, five, five on the clock. That is change and transformation. Like, hello to the door to value. Like, come on. I can't, I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. It just seems like there's such brighter days ahead for us Pisces. Because I'm going to claim it too, baby. <laughs> I'm going to claim that positive energy too. Because I feel that shift coming in. But you just really got to tap in. I'm here. You just really got to tap in to God. What popped out here? Deceit. Some of you guys let go of the freaking deceitful ass people in your life. Period. Oh, get out of here. So smack that little thing. Let me see. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna pull from the other one. She is playing with her little toys. Alright, so let's do chakra wisdom oracle cards. Another favorite deck of mine. Ooh, faith and perception. Did I just say some of y'all gotta change your perception of things? Okay. Forgiveness and faith. So if you guys are forgiving someone or forgiving some type of situation, you need to have faith. Also, there's gonna be some enlightenment that's coming from this because it's some type of lesson that you are learning. Okay. Faith again, yeah. Pray on certain situations to have that enlightenment. Go within, listen to your intuition. That's also going to bring you a lot of insight that you are needing, okay? Guilt, confusion, okay. So with the guilt and confusion, some of you guys, this may be something that you need to apologize for or someone's apologizing for because they are guilty. With the quest here, I'm hearing quest acceptance and grief freedom together, right? Okay, no, read this one first. So, this is part of your journey. You need to learn how to forgive to move forward. Yeah, maybe some of you guys feel guilty because of what has happened. Maybe you feel embarrassed or whatever. I don't know. Maybe you're feeling confused. But I feel like you're going to figure out which way to move forward here. There's two different paths that you can go on. I feel like forgiveness is one of them. The other one is not being forgiven. I mean, forgiving. I should say, right? But we have acceptance and grief. You need to accept what needs to be let go of in your life. What you need to move past in your life. Now look at that. Because that abundance, once again, the abundance is popping up. But it's just how, again, your perception of how you're looking at it. Then we have insecurity, mysticism. Okay. Read these all together. Okay, no. Read that one last. So, with the insecurity and mysticism, this is something that you have hidden. You've probably been hidden some type of insecurities that you have, and that's been causing you some anxiety, or maybe you have some anxiety around having to pop out for yourself, show people what is within you. Maybe you have some type of, like, anxiety about that, like stepping into your power. Maybe you have anxiety about being your true self in front of people because I know even for myself like I've hidden a lot of different things about myself from people for a very long time and it is hard to be like you know what now I'm gonna be my damn self but some of you guys really gotta pop into that well look at that completion you're completing that cycle out of your life again there's something that you need to let go of and maybe that's part of yourself that's been holding you back then we have the instinct use your instincts use your intuition as you move forward to really know what changes need to happen what things need to take place don't have guilt about what what you have to let go of maybe some of you guys have guilt about that because it could be some people yeah look rejection you might have to reject some damn people that's okay that is okay not everyone is meant to come with you on this path on this journey to enlightenment on this path on this journey to the new higher levels of your consciousness of yourself or with you living in your troop some people are just not going to be able to be there with you baby and that is it all right so that is your reading
place up Tanner. Go ahead and watch those short um, readings as well that's been posted out here um, for this well, last month, this month, whatever. I mean, they're, my, my readings, I feel like, are pretty timeless. You can watch them whenever. But, yes. Definitely, that is your message. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, next up, Libra. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.